welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting and advanced integral uh, within hyperbolic function so uh, first of all I am going to define a function integral f of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity hyperbolic cosine of nx over hyperbolic cosine of x dx okay then uh, we know the definition of hyperbolic function uh, hyperbolic cosine of x this is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 so uh, we can substitute here 0 to infinity uh, hyperbolic cosine of nx we know e to the nx plus e to the minus nx over we, we know 2 get cancelled here e to the x plus e to the minus x dx <coughs> sorry okay then um, okay now i am going to define uh, i'm going to divide uh, both numerator and denominator by e to the x so we can simplify 0 to infinity here e to the nx over e to the x uh, we can write e to the minus 1 minus n times x plus here e to the minus 1 plus n times x over 1 plus e to the minus 2x dx okay then uh, we can take a substitution so if we take u is equal to u is equal to e to the minus 2x now differentiate so du is equal to minus 2 e to the minus 2 times x dx now we can isolate the dx so dx is equal to minus du over 2 times u because u e to the minus 2x is equal to u okay then uh, we can substitute here so uh, we know now uh, li limit 0 to infinity but we know u approaches 1 to 0 so here minus sign so we can change the limit upper boundary and lower limit uh, as 0 to 1 here 2 so 1 over 2 we can write outside of the integral sign and here 1 plus e to the minus 2x we know u and here also we have u du and here e to the minus 1 times n is equal to x sorry x is equal to uh, we should uh, write um, by u so here we have u to the 1 minus n over 2 plus u to the uh, 1 um, plus n so plus n over 2 then uh, still we can simplify because here u so we can write this u uh, in the numerator so we can simplify 0 to 1 here u to the we know 1 minus n over 2 uh, minus 1 so uh, minus 2 plus 1 so minus 1 so minus 1 minus n over 2 plus here uh, u to the 1 plus n over 2 minus 1 so minus 2 here plus 1 so minus 1 plus n over 2 over 1 plus u d u okay then um, as a next step i am going to uh, split this integral into two different integrals so we can write one half times integral from 0 to 1 uh, u to the minus 1 minus n over 2 over 1 plus u du plus integral from 0 to 1 now u to the minus 1 plus n over 2 over 1 plus u du okay then uh, we have two integrals and now I am going to use a well known integral uh, we know integral from 0 to 1 
x to the n over 1 plus x dx is equal to 1 half times di gamma of di gamma of n plus 2 over 2 minus di gamma of n plus 1 over 2 okay then <coughs> here we can write uh, now this is equal to 1 half now uh, we can convert this integral uh, like this so we can write the answer as 1 half uh, 1 half times di gamma of now here n plus here n so n plus 2 over 2 so here if we take plus 2 here 4 4 minus 1 3 so we know 3 minus n over 4 minus di gamma of then uh, here uh, n plus 1 over 2 so um, plus 1 so plus uh, 2 2 minus 1 so 1 minus n over 4 so 1 minus n over 4 okay then uh, here uh, for this integral for this integral again 1 half 1 half times di gamma of di gamma of now uh, n plus 2 over 2 so plus 2 2 plus uh, 2 times 2 4 4 minus 1 3 so 3 plus n over 4 3 plus n over 4 minus uh, di gamma of now n plus 1 over 2 so plus 1 so plus 2 minus 1 so 1 plus n over 4 1 plus n over 4 okay then uh, we can simplify so uh, here 1 half here also 1 half so we can take 1 over 4 uh, as a common factor then I am um, going to rearrange this uh, like uh, di gamma of di gamma of 3 minus n over 4 minus di gamma of now I am going to take uh, this term 1 plus n over 4 uh, plus di gamma of 3 plus n over 4 this term minus di gamma of 1 minus n over 4 okay then uh, we can simplify here uh, we know now uh, this fact uh, reflection formula reflection formula of di gamma function di gamma of 1 minus x minus di gamma of x is equal to pi times cotangent of pi x okay this is the reflection formula uh, for di gamma function so uh, we can simplify here 1 over 4 1 over 4 now instead of uh, these two two uh, terms we can write pi times cotangent of cotangent of 1 plus n over 4 1 plus uh, n over 4 here pi so pi times 1 plus n over 4 then uh, for these uh, two terms we can write pi times cotangent of pi times 1 minus n over 4 okay then uh, we can simplify 1 over 4 uh, here pi also factor so pi now we can write this is equal to cotangent of pi over 4 plus pi n over 4 uh, plus cotangent of pi over 4 minus pi n over 4 okay then uh, if we simplify this if we simplify this we'll have 1 over 4 sorry here pi so pi over 4 uh, now if we simplify 
this trigonometric terms will have two times secant of n phi over 2 okay then we know this 2 get cancelled so we have pi over 2 secant of n pi over 2 okay now we know uh, this is uh, f of n we know f of n integral from 0 to infinity uh, hyperbolic cosine of nx over hyperbolic cosine of x dx and now we know this is equal to this is equal to uh, go, sorry pi over 2 uh, secant of n pi over 2 okay then uh, I'm going to uh, apply n is equal i so we can write integral from 0 to infinity hyperbolic cosine of ix over hyperbolic cosine of x dx is equal to pi over 2 secant of i pi over 2 well uh, now we know uh, this fact uh, hyperbolic cosine of ix is equal to cosine of x also uh, uh, secant of ix is equal to hyperbolic secant of x so we can write now integral from 0 to infinity we know hyperbolic cosine of ix cosine of x so cosine of x over uh, hyperbolic cosine of x dx this is our main integral uh, we know this is equal to pi over 2 secant of ix we know hyperbolic hyperbolic secant of pi over 2 okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching